Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I want to talk about effects and specifically two features of effects, the effect order and some of the on-screen controls. So first I want to talk about effect order. Now what does that mean? So let's take a look at this first clip. Uh, nice lady here just sitting on a beach. So I'm going to go over to the effects browser, which on the right side of the toolbar in the center here, you can just click this button on the right or use the shortcut Command-5, and that'll open up your effects browser. You can use the divider in the middle of these two to also to expand the effects browser to see more or less of those effects. But I'm gonna go down to the color effects, and I'm gonna apply one of the filters called Colorize. And this just goes through and essentially tints the color. I'm also gonna add the black and white filter. And as you, effect, as you would expect, Black and white makes the picture black and white, takes away all that color. So even though I colorized the picture with an effect, because I then applied the black and white filter, we've removed that color. If I open up the inspector using the button at the top right corner, or the shortcut Command 4, I can see these two effects. I'm in the video inspector, by the way, which is this first tab on the left column. If you're in the other info or the color, you won't see it, but I'm in the effect one here. So here we see the two effects, colorize and black and white. Now right on the name of the effect, just click and drag the effect above or below one of the other effects to change the order. So now I've applied the black and white filter first, it goes top down, and then the colorize filter second. So now I've made the picture black and white, and I'm gonna uncheck colorize, so you can see there's the black and white picture, and then I'm applying colorize which I could click on the red here and change it to maybe a blue or a green, just another tint or another color on this image here. So don't forget that effect order matters. You can go in with any of the effects and change the order, and you're going to get a slightly different look or effect happening on your picture. The next thing I wanted to talk about with effects are the on-screen controls. Many people select a clip and apply a filter, in this case I've applied the droplet filter, and they only go into the right side in the inspector to make changes. When in fact, you have multiple on-screen controls in the viewer that you can use to adjust this effect. The first one is directly in the center right now of this droplet effect. And you'll see this on many other effects where you can just click this circle and essentially change the center or the position of whatever the effect is, in this case the droplet. Now you may also see circles on some of the effects. With this one, we get this round ring of a droplet. And I can adjust the outer circle to change how much of a droplet is there. Or you can see on the inspector, this is the thickness parameter. And I can adjust the inner circle to also make changes to that thickness. This is changing the radius as well. So you can use these controls in the inspector to make changes but using the visual controls in the viewer sometimes gives you more control. Looking at another example, in this image, I've applied a vignette uh, effect. So you can see that in the inspector here, and of course you can go in and make all kinds of controls with that. But visually, it can be a lot easier. I can adjust the circle in the middle, and you can see we're taking the center essentially for this for the brighter area, and I can go and adjust the outer circle to change the way that vignette looks. Now I can also click and drag in the middle of the circle to adjust both of them. So don't forget these on-screen controls are very helpful in manipulating these effects and customizing them. Uh, one last example here, I have a uh, little glass here, some liquid being pulled in, and this is the prism effect. Uh, very similar to the other ones where we have some circles in the middle where we can adjust where this effect is happening, but we also get this arrow that lets us change the actual prism effect, which is kind of cool. You get these controls to really just visually adjust things. So it's nice to have these on-screen controls that you can use to adjust the effects in a more visual way, instead of just having to adjust numbers in the inspector. There's a reason that you have both controls. Sometimes you will want to use the controls in the viewer. Other times you'll want to use the controls that are available in the inspector. 
Now don't forget, if you do have the motion application, you can use that to customize almost any of these filters. Just control click or right click on the filter and choose to open a copy in motion. If you want to learn more about motion, you can look for my guide on Amazon, the Apple Bookstore, and other places, an awesome guide to motion. Otherwise, if you've got any questions, just leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video and what else you'd like to see in the future. As always, have an excellent day.